So just now we're going to have some moments of prayer for the Inverness Congress and the events that will happen there. We're going to share the reading between Chris and myself. Shall we pray? Father God, we pray for the officers meeting that will start the preceding week. We pray for officers, core leaders who will share together and have that time just to be in your presence and feel the connectedness of this wonderful division. We pray too for those who cannot attend in person, whether through ill health or other matters. Keep them safe and well. Amen. Lord, we pray for all the musical people who will be involved in the band and the pop-up choir for the Congress celebrations. We thank you for their willingness to share their gifts with each other and we pray that the music they make will enhance the worship that will be done in Inverness and that through the joy of praising those involved will feel your presence with them. Amen. And finally Father, we pray for that Congress on Saturday. We pray for all those that attend for safe travelling mercies as they come throughout the division to be there. We pray for our territorial leaders as they bring God's words to those at our attendance, that you would open up people's hearts to receive the message. We pray for people involved in the musical sections, that the glory will be shown and given to you and you alone. There may be those there who will have been invited to this event, and may not know you personally. So Lord, we pray for a freedom in worship. We pray that hearts will be opened and that you will come mightily down in that place. Amen. Amen. And on Sunday, the 7th of August, the campaign stays in Inverness for a Sunday morning worship. Majors Bruce and Isabel Smith are the core officers for Inverness and we pray that from this fabulous weekend of praise and prayer that they will continue to witness this truth of Jesus' love in that city community. We pray for our neighbouring core and we continue to thank them for our support here to us on the island. So just now we're going to have some moments of open prayer for the weekend that will happen in Inverness, both the Congress and the worship and everything else that will follow on. So again, let there just be a freedom of prayer, whether online or in the building, for this event. Continue to pray for the campaign as it reaches Inverness. Um, we know that it's a stopping point for a lot of places in our division, and we just pray that it will be a time when others will come to know Jesus' love through that weekend. So, after another day of rest, the campaign starts again and it starts to move towards the east, stopping at our growth core. Major Helen Young is the officer there and will be hosting a fellowship tea and open air service in the we know the power of food and time of fellowship can be so special. So may we surround this event just now. We also pray God for open air ministry. And we pray for good weather and good health for all of those involved. So they can be amongst the people of the community and share the good news of Jesus. So just now I'm going to invite Moira to share a prayer for the campaign trail as it reaches our growth. Thank you, Moira. Lord Jesus, we thank you for our growth core. We thank you for who they are in your service, and we pray that on Tuesday, the 8th of August, you will be with them as they minister to their community. We pray for the volunteers who will be preparing food, one of the most important jobs in any Salvation Army building. 
May the weather be kind to the open air witness at the harbour, and may those involved be bold in sharing their faith with their community. Amen. Thank you, Moira. And finally, on the final day of the campaign that concludes at Aberdeen Citadel on Wednesday the 10th of August, and unfortunately we know, don't we, that Aberdeen Citadel are still without permanent officer leadership. But we recognise the tremendous work of the core members and local leaders who are continuing to serve. So at 4pm there will be a summer praise meeting, celebrating the week in our division and encouraging us as we go forward. So just now we're going to share in another chorus together before we pray. The words are this. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him, ye creatures here below. Praise him above, ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So again, um, we'll put the music on and just share in this time before we 